My guest for today, Paulo Hubalde from Davao Occidental Tiger, former PBA player. First question po, paano po kayo nagsimula basketball player high school sa Mapua? Basically, uh, before I went to the school in Mapua, nag-legal na bas muna ako. Doon ako nakilala sa guru before, before. Sa guru kaya natulugan yung mga natulit. Kasi, I was, before that, I was trying also other things. Like, uh, with the uh, past day, pero hindi tayo pinahalat. So, nagpalakas muna ako sa mga tigan labas ng mga bata tapos yun ang isa pinalad tayo na ma-recruit ni Coach Carasio After nyo mag-high school na-recruit kayo ng UE or na-try out kayo? Sir, before that uh, may mga invitations sa ating high school pero yung offer kasi ng UE it was uh, siya uh, matatagihan Best memories nyo sa college? sa UI sa UI kasi uh, yung last year ko kasi yun kasi yung pinaka yun yung ako eh yun yung laro ko talaga na the showcase ko sa sa school ko ano yung kaya kong gawin which is led by Coach Dindo Pumalo so siya yung nag-guide sa akin Kamusta ka teammate sila James Yap, KG Canaleta at Ronald Tubid? Si James kasi tahimik yan. Uh, wala masyadong ano yan, medyo ano yan. Ngayon nga, patahimik siya. Si Ronald naman is kabalagtara ni James, medyo loud. Hindi naman loud na kuwela ba, kuwela siya na masarap siya kasama. Ang almost pares ng ugali si KG sa si James. Medyo tahimik lang sila pero... Deep... Top 5 toughest opponent nyo sa UAAP? Hmm. Probably number 1 is Mac Mac. Back in the day, Mike Cortez for sure. Uh, LA. Kamusta ka teammate si Johnny Abariyentos and JJ Helterbrand as two best guards in the PBA? Sa akin, malaking uh, achievement siya mm. kasi I saw nakasama ko yung prime JJ mm. then nakasama ko yung hindi naman na ano kumbaga yung medyo medyo, matang, medyo matured na Johnny Uh, marami ako nagtutunan sa dalawa kasi uh, like si JJ sobrang talented niya he's, big, he's a big guard he's fast tapos uh, he can shoot over certain point that's it yeah, you know ang package niya he can post up he can jump over you ang iba naman kay Kuya Johnny is <coughs> kasi si Kuya Johnny ang ano ko siya eh ang ayos ng childhood uh, hero ko yun Uh, nung nung naman yung pinapalag sila sa Pony Island before nag-aapi uh, yung kumbaga siya yung pala nang tinipig ng buong pinaka-pinaka-pig yung mga games niya kaya alam ko yung mga dalaw niya nung, nung bata pa siya etong medyo nag-guided siya medyo may natutunan din ako kasi parang ang ginawa niya is inayon niya yung age niya yung katawan sa laro niya kumbaga he made, he made it work for his age na maging effective pa rin sa PBA kahit na magkaedad siya kung baga nagagawa pa rin yun nyo sa San Miguel Beermen at Petron na tatlo beses kayo bumalik yung unang stint ko <coughs> syempre one of the best feeling in the world yun kasi 
will get drafted by a, by a champion team mm-hmm. diba? based on the dream of some player to go to the PBA and of course he will go to the PBA and of course the time around but the man uh, okay din naman kasi pinabalik tayo doon at ng champion tayo sa Petron eh, eh, yun, isa, isa rin sa pinaka-memorable championship run ko yun kasi we were, hmm. we were ranked dead last pero we are in our way up to earn the championship sa lagat na lumabag kami kahit depleted yung team marami injuries, marami star players na injury pero lumaban lahat nung we they gave us a chance to compete. So, ang pinaka-best na is everyone, everyone na uh, laro ng panahon na yun, talaga, all out talaga, pas di ka alalo, binigay namin, just to get the championship. And that main leader namin noon, eh, si Dania, eh, si Grandi. So, pero, marami ako lang tunan to. Then, then ang mga third state, medyo, medyo mature na tayo na, ibang opposition naman ng kasama ko with Junma, Marsho, Chris uh, uh-huh. Lutz, Arwin. Medyo that time, kasi they were still uh, parang everyone is parang ano pa eh, working on our game sa, as, a, as a team. So, hindi makuha yung con- like we, although we were winning pero hindi uh-huh. fluid tulad na nangyari sa sa kanila sunod-sunod sa championship. At least, uh, I was part of the stepping stone. Uh. Kamusta ka teammate sila, Arwin Santos and Alex K. Bagnot? Ayun, uh, patagal ko na ngayon nakasama. Actually, nakatapag ko rin. <clears throat> Yung competitiveness ng dalawa is next level talaga. Legend level kasi. Uh, they really want to win. They, they work for it. They do extra work for it. Uh, yeah, I respect ako sa dalawa dahil uh, may, may results naman lahat ng paghihirap nila nakita nyo naman. So, hindi lang nila basta binigay sa kanila yun. They really hurt. How hard maging journeyman sa PBA? It's ano eh, uh, it's, it's a bit hard and fun. Kasi maybe that's why siguro uh, I lasted that long, almost 13 years sa PBA. Eh, I, I just play what they want me to be. Kumbaga, I, I play what the team needs. So if ever, like when I, when I was in Red Bull, they want to be the main man, then main man tayo. Then magpunta tayo sa certain teams ng Malakas, they want us to be a defensive man or a role player. You, ano eh, it's a matter of ano eh, accepting your role kasi kasi if your ego ang mauna sa sa iyo walang mangyayari sa akin ah on my view on my point of view walang mangyayari sa iyo kung tataas ang ego mo at pero kung 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 mayroong trabaho lalaroin mo uh, accept mo yung trabaho and be be the best at that role I think that's the best thing you can do to help the team win Kamusta ka teammate si Manny Pacquiao? Uh, uh, Kumbaga, uh, he just lets you play, he's fun. Kumbaga, hindi siya wala siya pressure, he's just like a friend. Uh, competitive. competitive siya pagdating sa basketball, parang sa boxing niya. Pero after that, he's the, he's the most uh, generous and most mabayot talaga. Kamusta stint niyo sa ABL? Una yung uh, San Miguel, which is the one with championship. Ngayon, medyo okay yun. Sobrang isa rin na magandang run namin nila Asi noon kasi we, 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 we set the record high talaga. We set the bar high nung no, panahon na yun, 2013. We, we, we even had, I think, 18 straight wins. And that's really hard to get. Ngayon, uh, yung championship run ko na yun, one of the best din yun. Uh, I think, uh, family din kasi yung grupo na yun. Saka medyo malakas din yun. Then my second state sa ABL is yung uh, alam, Pilipinas. Uh, medyo ano yun, uh, challenging yun kasi we, uh, at first we were, we don't have any sponsors it's only Charlie D was traveling the, the team so 
we don't have enough budget to get certain players but we still need it work. at least kumaso kami na and playoffs pa rin namin kahit pa paano so even though uh, at least si ang kasama kasama doon si Ray Parks so si naabot ko rin si Giffer so malaking tulong din yun as for me as a player uh, I learned a lot kasi actually kung ako tatawin mo medyo mahirap din maglaro sa ABL dahil dahil inside the court there's four imports then sa ibang sa iba pang team may mga mix pa siya na American din like like foreign foreign na uh, mix ng local so most basically ang nasa loob ng court uh, na malalakas is uh, six seven di ba tatlo na lang yung local so medyo mahirap din maglaro doon kasi na uh, malalaki yung imports compared sa PBA natin sa so, isa na lang wala ang usually Kamusta career niyo sa MPBL and Vismin Cup? Yung yung career ko sa MPBL was uh, it was really fun. I think it's the same thing as what happened to me in my last year sa MPBL. Uh, I think the sa MPBL kasi when I was with Valenzuela, nabigay ko kasi yung parang totoong laro ko. So, old bars, walang kuwi, tigil. I just leave everything I have. Everything I had. Uh, every team. So, I was having so much fun talaga. Amin ko naman. Amin ko naman. Sobrang masaya ako. Same thing sa Bismin. Uh, Ganun din. Uh, masaya. Even though I, I was chasing the championship, di man pinagpala, pero I was giving my best. As a veteran, ano palagi binibigay nyo advice teammates nyo na mga bata? Pinaka-advice ko is cherish the moment and huwag magmamadali. Because usually ang mga bata kasi babadali sa so they, they, they want to do certain things. Uh, this and that. And sabi ko sa na just be patient and uh, keep on working. Uh, kung baga Uh, never stop working. Now, kasi, uh, I, I always listen and uh, no, admire Kobe Bryant's mentality, Mamba mentality, na to be better version of yourself, to be better every day. You know, yun ang sabi ko sa kanila. Kasi, as, as ano, yun, 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 panalaman mo kasi yung katawad mo eh, yung game mo, when you age, When you're young, you're still fast. I know, you know, you're effective with that. But when you when you age, and how how will good things work when you age? When you get slower, a step slower, uh, you a jump lower, right? Uh, Ma battle mo. How how do you want? How will you make it work and still be effective? So, uh, it, part naman ng area na matutuwan tayo. So. Ako ang advice ko sa nila is learn. Learn every time. So, never stop learning. You know, we usually not try so sa mga kapatahan. Bakit number 0 and 12 jersey number nyo? Kasi when I was in high school, si Kuya kasi number 10, si Dan number 10. So I had to have to find my, ano, my, my own path. That's why I wanted 12. Tapos, all through a while, yung number ko, yung rookie year ko lang, at least 24 kasi yung date number birthday ko. Pero usually 12 talaga. Then, um, yung zero kasi, that's where, ano, that's where I started. Uh, parang I wanted to start already the uh, clean slate. Kung baga, I wanted to start at zero. Uh, o kung baga, restart ng career ko, I wanted to, parang, Juvenile pa. Kaya ako ng zero para I want to, 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 to become a, a butterfly. Di ba? Para gusto natin gusto ko explore yung kung ano pang kaya kong gawin. At, at this age pa. Maraming salamat idol. Pwede pa picture sa inyo idol. Thank you for watching. Please also subscribe my YouTube channel.